Researchers at the Imagineering Institute in Malaysia are working on technology that would allow people to text sense. Not the obsolete form of money, but smells. I mean, like, also you know that like no one ever thinks of the good ones when they hear the word smells. What are you thinking of right now? Smells. 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 The researchers recently tested their, quote, electric smell, which conveys smell by stimulating the subject's olfactory receptors. Now, when I first saw a photo of the experiment, I thought, you know what, this must be what it's like when engineering students get high. Just a lot of electrical equipment and a wire up somebody's nose. We're gonna do it! The work is part of an effort to create more realistic virtual reality. For example, instead of chatting or texting with a friend, you could enjoy a dinner in VR and not only share the sights, but the smells as well. See, you're not thinking of any good smells right now. Just like you're sharing bad smells and you know what friend you're sitting down with. In the experiments, the researchers actually shot electrical currents above and behind the nostrils to evoke 10 virtual odors, including fruity, woody, and minty. They're shooting electricity into their noses. So, I mean, is there any possibility that these were just like mini strokes? The researchers can't yet control the odor that people experience, and they admit that no matter what the subjects are able to experience, people might be apprehensive to shove wires up their noses. The work is preliminary, but could lead to advancements that restore a sense of smell for people who have lost the sense due to medical complications or future devices that deliver the capability without, you know, going up your nose. Boom, boom, boom. A team of researchers from Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden have created an artificial joint that could restore wrist action for below elbow amputees. The joint is connected to a pair of implants that are directly connected to the two remaining bones in your forearm, the radius and ulna. The joint then connects to a prosthetic hand to restore wrist-like movement for the patient. The work stands to improve the quality of life of amputees. Just think of every door handle that can now be turned screwdrivers that can now be turned and well pretty much anything that needs to be turned can now be turned without the patient having to torque their entire body around the wrist-like artificial joint acts as an interface between the two implants and the prosthetic hand together this allows a more natural movement as well as sensory feedback according to the researchers depending on the location of the amputation Patients might actually still have the biological actuators and sensors required for wrist rotation. The artificial joint would connect to the receptors and allow the patient to feel, for example, when he or she is turning the key to start a car. You know how it's turning, even though you're not looking at the key. So far in tests, the artificial joint has proven to dramatically improve patients' range of motion. Boom, boom, boom. Many have called automotive startup Rivian the Tesla of trucks because, I mean, well, because they're trying to be the Tesla of trucks. They're developing high-performance EVs that are really easy on the eyes. This week at the LA Auto Show, the company unveiled two new all-electric vehicles, the R1T electric pickup truck and the all-electric R1S SUV. Both are targeted to enter production at the company's facility in Normal, Illinois in 2020. The initial vehicles will have a 180 kilowatt hour battery pack with a range of 410 miles. A smaller 135 kilowatt hour battery pack will also be available out of the gate and a 105 kilowatt hour option with a range of 250 miles will be available the next year. According to the company, the truck will have enough power to climb up 45 degree slopes and tow more than 11,000 pounds. The SUV, which can seat seven, will start at about 72.5, while the pickup, which can seat five, will be slightly cheaper at $69,000. The vehicles kind of remind me of a Jeep because even though they're EVs, they're built to survive the elements. For example, they can drive through three feet of water. They also have two body mounted motors per axle that precisely control each wheel. That has nothing to do with the Jeep, but that's just, I mean, it's cool and Jeeps are cool, so it's related. The body mounted motors also mean that it doesn't have an engine. So where the engine used to be is now a storage compartment or front trunk. The truck also has a really cool storage cubby that runs the width of the truck and is located between the seats and the bed. The truck will go from zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds, zero to 100 in less than seven seconds and top out at 125 miles per hour. Now, what remains to be seen is whether or not Rivian will be more like Tesla and we'll actually see them on the road one day or Faraday, which I mean, well, let's just say that they're having a rough go of it. And hopefully the team at Rivian can do it without having to put in 80 to 100 hour work weeks. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.
Shame spiral. 